And finally from us, going the extra mile, lots of extra miles. If you thought like we did that completing a marathon would be the ultimate achievement, well, think again, because every year hundreds of athletes run the equivalent of about six marathons in some of the most grueling conditions imaginable. Reporting from the Southern Sahara Desert in Morocco, ABC's Clarissa Ward. It's midday in the Sahara Desert. The sun beats down on the desolate landscape. Ted Archer has been running for four days. I just feel like Forrest Gump. I just want to run. On his back, everything he needs to survive in the desert for a week. The majority of the pack is, surprise, surprise, going to be food. And then uh, compass, which we hope we never need. <laughs> Welcome to the Marathon des Sables, or Marathon of the Sands. The toughest foot race in the world, 156 miles over seven days. Across sand dunes and salt flats, mountains and oases, day and sometimes night. Some do it for the challenge, some, like Morgan Murray, do it for charity. Well, I want to do what I can to send kids out there to experience what happens when you push yourself in the wilderness. For all the runners, it is a grueling experience. How are you doing? Oh, I'm mangled. Two years ago, nearly 150 competitors dropped out. Last year, one died. On day one, this man suffers severe dehydration and is medevaced out. The heat is virtually unbearable. There's very little breeze, and as these runners come through this checkpoint, they're being loaded with liquids by the medics so that they can go ahead and finish the next stretch. Oh. Blisters are the most common problem, but the physical challenges are only a part of this experience. When you're running four and five and ten hours at a time, you're very much in your own head. All the things you think about, I mean, the running, life, you know, your family, your country, your charity. Not everyone experiences an epiphany. Right now, just like a shower and a cheeseburger, or four. At the finish line, jubilation and exhaustion, relief and pride. All but 54 runners have made it. Most don't run to win. Yeah, it's been more than a race. A, a race is something you walk to the starting line, do, finish, high five and go home. Not bad. It's been an epic journey. Clarissa Ward, ABC News, the Sahara Desert, Morocco.